Who would you say is the greatest of all time? Can you can you make the case? You mentioned Kasparov. Can you make the case for Kasparov? Can you make the case for Magnus Carlsen, uh, Bobby Fischer, Tall? In my opinion, you can make a case for Magnus, Gary, and Bobby Fischer. I, I'm not one of the folks that's like, oh, I mean, Capablanca was brilliant. You can argue Steinitz was brilliant, but as uh, I think, I think it was. It's probably Kasparov, and Magnus has a chance to overtake it. So the longevity is really important to you when you were thinking about this. Yes, I think so. I think Magnus is very, very close. I think it's it's extremely close. What would be the magic? You got to get that sixth one. Oh, so the <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the world championships matter. It's kind of like basketball, right? Rings. It's all all comes down to how many rings did, did this person win? What weigh? about well, basketball doesn't have this the number of years at number one, right? Mm. Like uh, rating. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, like there's a there is a, which is what Magnus really likes is like there is a nice system of rating of who is ranked number one, yeah. and it has to do not with some championships or low sample tournaments. Mm -hmm. It has to do with g general. Game after game after game helps estimate more accurately the ELO rating. So yeah, he's been world number one for I think eleven years, right? Which is so still less than Gary well. was world number one for twenty years. Yeah, which is which is quite wild. But still lower rating, I think, than Magnus now, right? Yeah, I think rating in general has sort of allegedly it got inflated. Yeah, is I, that true? Is there truth to that? I think so. I don't, I can't speak to how exactly it happened, but it also happens online. If you go back just three or four years, I think some of the best Blitz players on, let's say, chess.com were 27, 2800, and now they're 3200. I think it's just sort of what happens, but I, I don't exactly know. Uh, I will mention that there was a very strange change, not exactly sure when the year was in FIDE, so over the board chess, where if you were under the age of 16 or 18 years old, one of those two, and you were below 2300, okay? Your rating change factor was three to four times higher. Mm -hmm. So just imagine what that means. Magnus has a rating change factor of, of, let's say one. I have a rating change factor also of one. Anybody over the rating 2400 has the same rating change factor. Uh, what is uh, the rating change factor? So it, if you win- Yeah, there's a- formula and basically let's say at the very base level five point change if your rating change factor is one you beat somebody you gain five points those kids who were under 18 and under 2300 their rating change factor was four so their ratings were going up four times higher and four times like up and down compared to normal folks and there was a there was one teenager in the u.s in particular who in one month played a bunch of tournaments with his rating change factor and became nearly rated 2,640, which is top 50 in the world. Mm -hmm. He was just a random teenager from the United States. He became a grandmaster ultimately, but he bled like 90 points down because his rating was so inflated. And this, the K40 exists now. I mean, you have many kids who out of nowhere, 2,100, 2,100, 2,400 after you know one good month. It's like, what? <laughs> so that's interesting. That's like uh, similar to like how TikTok inflates your virality early on. Does Maybe, it? Well, yeah. Like I, don't I, I, know. I, 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 well, at least the rumor is like they want you to get engaged. Mm. And I thought there was even artificial likes and so on that they want you to get that dopamine addiction. And so maybe they want to throw you, if you're really passionate about chess, they want you to throw you to the sharks by artificially inflating you, inflating your rating, and maybe that gets you into the game much more intensely. Maybe, that, that I don't know, I wonder how many like backdoor FIDE meetings there are with cigars and, so that that was uh, the factors determined by, who who does the, the, the ELO rating? Who changes this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> who knows? It's probably those Lee Chess anarchists. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think they wanna, I think they want to they stay away from that stuff.